Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about my top five must-haves in my second trimester so far. Everything I'm going to show you today has helped me in some form or way in my second trimester and has made things somewhat easier. Um, so I'm just going to get right on into it. The first product that has helped me so far in this pregnancy is a bio oil and I smother myself in this at least twice a day and as you can see I need another bottle soon because I'm just going for it so much. It's really helped with the itchiness and tightness I've been feeling on my belly as it's been growing. Um, I've also been using alongside it is the Lush Therapy Massage Bar and I feel like I've got like three or four of these already and I've got another like three or four in my drawer because I'm just going through them constantly. So I do alternate between both of these but I definitely feel like this one has helped most. It is on the pricier side but I do recommend it because it just relieves so much of the itchiness and I know you can't prevent stretch marks but um I could definitely try so I've been putting it on probably about twice a day if not definitely once just to try and relieve my skin and it also makes me feel so soft I use it all over my belly down my thighs and obviously all over my boobs it hasn't prevented stretch marks because I have got some already but uh, it could have been worse. So the next product might seem a little bit silly but it is just bras. Now these are non-wired bras. Yeah they're non-wired bras so they're just so stretchy and comfy and obviously as I'm going through this pregnancy my boobs are obviously getting bigger and it's harder for them to fit into my usual bras so these have been so nice to wear and I, I'm wearing one right now actually so nice to wear and actually feel like I'm having some sort of support because they do just feel so heavy and they're comfortable enough to the point where I can sleep in them at night um which I really like they're such a soft material as well so they're not like irritating anything and again they're so stretchy it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a bra sometimes but it's just nice to have the support and these are only cheap ones I think I got them from Primark so a couple pounds and it was definitely worth it I've got a few packs of these so I won't be running out anytime soon the next thing on my list is a hot water bottle and as you can see this is a very long one um before Christmas I did just have a small one that I was using and putting around my back or my hips um, but I got this for Christmas and it's been so nice to just like wrap around me um, I could put it in different positions um, obviously not across the bump because that's too hot for baby but it's been so much help especially because I have suffered with quite a lot of back pain during this pregnancy um to the point where it is quite uncomfortable when I'm waking up during the night so it is nice to be able to uh go downstairs and fill this up and kind of relieve the pain in some way as well as hot baths obviously I can't bring a bath to the camera but hot bath um has really been helping I've been putting uh, Epsom salts which my midwife recommended um, to put them in the bath and sit in there for at least 20 minutes obviously not too hot again because it's not good for baby but that has really helped with my back pain majority of the time there's all there's obviously the odd occasion that it doesn't help this is probably one of my biggest essentials so far out of all the things so next on the list is a pregnancy pillow this isn't specifically a pregnancy pillow but as you can see it's in a like a v shape so i can tuck one of these corners underneath or between my legs and 
under the bump slightly um it's also again helped me with a lot of my back pain so far during this pregnancy and i can only imagine that it's going to get worse so i feel like this is going to be my best friend for a very long time um i sleep with it most nights there are some nights on the odd occasion where it's not as bad and i don't need to or it's actually more uncomfortable to sleep with it it just depends on the night but nine times out of ten you can find me sleeping with this pillow and it has been a lifesaver basically um i know there's giant ones that you can get but to be fair i just don't have the room on my bed to have that and i don't think my boyfriend would appreciate that um and he likes this pillow as well he definitely steals it from me during the night and i have to get it back from him so i have one last product on this list which is just a water bottle now i have been going through so much water or it's not always water it's squash sometimes but i've just been going through so many drinks especially during the night so having that on hand right next to my bed that so i could just take a sip and it's nice because it's one of the um straw ones so you don't have to actually tip it so i can still stay comfy in bed and not wake myself up too much um but i've always got this on me walking around the house and nine times out of ten it is full but as you can see i need to fill it up again so those are my top five essential products during my second trimester so far obviously some of these things you don't really need but i found that they've helped me so much i want to say thank you for watching this video and definitely keep an eye out because i am really trying to stick to doing a video each week so keep an eye out for the next week and there should be another video thank you for watching